Sound like I'm ready, you just woke me up. So get the fuck up. We don't get the money for Bruno today. We're fucked. Where the hell are we gonna get our hands on 55 grand, huh? I don't know. We sure as hell ain't gonna find it laying around in bed. I got something for starters. A job from Eddie with a big payout. No shit? Yeah, I'll pick you up in a few minutes. So get dressed, grab a gun, and wait for me outside. I'll tell you more in the car. This better not be one of your brilliant ideas, Joe. Hey, I'm not in the mood. Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to snap at you. I'm still half asleep over here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So you in or not? Sure, why not? How long till you get here? I'm calling from the gun shop around the corner. I'll be at your place in a minute. All right, I'll wait for you out back. I'll see you soon. Hey, what's with the fancy wheels? Eddie gave it to us just for this job. Nice, huh? You drive. My head's still pounding from last night. We're going to Greenfield. Guess you hit the sauce pretty hard, too, huh? Yeah, I couldn't sleep either. Nothing a bottle of scotch couldn't fix, though. Head over to Greenfield. <sighs> all right. So now can you tell me what this is all about? We're just gonna drive there, pop some guy, and drive away. Should be a piece of cake. Why? Eddie said it's a favor for some family from another city. Unfinished business. He gave me this envelope with all the instructions. He said it's gotta be clean, and it's gotta be done today. Why the hell doesn't the other family just do it themselves? Eddie said they've been looking for this guy for a while, and they just found him. They are afraid that if it ain't done right away, the guy's gonna disappear again. Here, yeah, here's a picture of him. What'd this guy do? Says here he ratted his family out to the feds. Guy's got a coming from that. But wait, if he cooperated with the feds, that means he was under protection, right? What if he still is? Even if he is, we're getting paid a few grand for the job. So it's more than worth the risk. Man, if you say so. Hey, we need every penny we can get right now, right? So after we finish this job, we'll split up and look for other work. All right. Says here they want us to give him a message before we do it. Here, here it is. Okay, got it. Hey, if you see Eddie later, not a word about yesterday. He was never there. Last chink we saw was delivering egg food young. You get it? Yeah, you think I am some kind of retard? Jury's still out on that one, pal. Just making sure you don't slip up, that's all.
got a say? Yeah. All right. Here we go, then. Mr. Angelo? Uh, yes? Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Like I said, this is Carl, Dark Hair, we need a film. This guy's okay. Shit! Go, go! go. We got a homicide here. Suspect is armed. This is Agent Cox. Ten for support in Greenfield. Now, goddammit! Those were feds. That asshole really was under protection. Yeah, he's famous for conveniently leaving out little details like that. Maybe he didn't know. Don't matter now. We gotta lose him. Oh, fuck. That was close. Get me to Kingston, will you? I got a car waiting. About the money. Hey, I almost forgot. Eddie paid me in advance, so here's your share. Good luck getting your hair for the money. Come by my place when you're done. Okay. I'll see you later. It's me, Vito. Come on in. So, you need serious hardware or just a pistol?
Here you go, Vito. Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo. An excellent weapon. Happy hunting, Vito. Good afternoon, sir. I have just what you're looking for. Fits you perfect. Sir.
Hey. Vito! Hey, thanks for coming by. I knew I could count on you. What for? <clears throat> Frank's organizing a sit-down with the other bosses, and he took almost all my guys as bodyguards. So I don't have nobody around to handle this here job for me. Derek, these guys still don't want to work. What? Why? Because of that deadbeat you fired. Hey. Shit. Well, Vito, that other thing will have to wait. Can you help us out here with this first? What's happening? Well, this deadbeat didn't come to work for a whole week. Pretended he was sick. Total bullshit. So I fired his ass. Anyway, some of his buddies are upset, and they're threatening to strike. All I gotta do is show up with a few guys who look like they mean business. That'll scare them, and they'll forget all about it. I give you a thousand bucks. Are you in? All right. I ain't gonna say no to that kind of money. All right. All you need to do is stand behind me and look tough. Right, Steve? We'll see. These fucking guys really think who the fuck they are. This ain't the first time I have problems with them, you know. Uh, know how many of them there is? Three, four, ten. How the fuck should I know? Does it matter? Oh, no, it's just, uh, what are we gonna do to them? All depends on how the, uh, labor negotiations go. Just let me do all the talking. I don't need just opening your mouths and proving how stunages are. So, what's the problem here, fellas? We want you to give Big John his job back. It's me that decides who gets hired and fired around here. And I say he's fired. All we're asking is for you to hire him back. He's got a family. He needs a job. I've made my decision. See, I told you! Easy does it, Vinny. We want to do this Easy. peacefully. We bust our asses day in and day out for this fat fuck! And if anything ever happens to us, he'll screw us over Lower just like your he did, voice John. now, young man. I don't want to hear another word about that fucking dead... Who are you calling a deadbeat? A crate fell on the poor guy while he was working. For you, broke both his damn hands. Well, that's his fucking problem, not mine. And I suggest you just get back to work before somebody else's hands get you broken. You goddamn bastard! You fellas are really starting to piss me off. There's no need for violence. Please, put it down. You don't want no trouble. It don't look that way to me. Right now, looks like you got big trouble, don't you? Now, if you all don't want to start looking for new jobs, you'll be back to work in the next ten minutes. You see, Vito, all they do is bitch and moan. Vito? You're Skeletus boy, ain't ya? I, your dad used to talk about you all the time. You look just like him. But what are you doing working for this bastard? After what he did to your old Shut man? Shut your fucking mouth right now. Don't listen to him, Vito. He's full of shit. Come on, let's go. Full of shit, huh? That bastard killed your father, Vito. What? They're just trying to get under your skin, Derek. Hey, stop pointing that gun Why at don't me. Don't you ask him how your dad drowned Shut up. that night? We seen him take a walk with Steve. And then Steve come back alone. And all wet. Stop pointing that thing at me. What the hell happened with my father, Derek? Are you nuts or what? Who are you gonna trust, me or these now unemployed losers? We known each other for a long time, Vito. Think of all Why the things. Why were you all wet, Steve? You dive in and try to save him? Because he wouldn't stay underwater. Keep your mouth shut! Vito, you swore an oath. I was there. Our loyalty to the family is greater than to our own families. Tell that to my mother. <sighs> Should I kill him? No, not here. We'll settle things with him later. You disappoint me, Vito. You really do. I'm gonna do a hell of a lot more than disappoint you, Derek. Your dad. Not right now. I gotta get that fuck before he runs away. Time to teach that fat fuck a lesson. Vinny, where'd you get that? Doesn't matter. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right, follow me, guys. This is crazy, folks. We shouldn't be doing this. Vito can handle himself. Some extra firepower ain't gonna hurt. Let's go, Vito. We got your back.
Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right. Follow me, guys. It's crazy fast. You shouldn't be doing this. Vito can handle himself. Some extra firepower ain't gonna hurt. Let's go, Vito. We got your back. Your old man, Vito. Don't worry. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right, follow me, guys. This is crazy. <laughs> you shouldn't be doing this. Vito can handle himself. So that's your firepower ain't gonna hurt. Let's go, Vito. We got your back. Find out about this. Vito, <clears throat> ah. you're making the biggest mistake of your life. <clears throat> what do you think, Vito? You think I could just fucking do 
something like this and walk away? Y'all <laughs> fuck! That's your old man, Vito. Don't worry, you're gonna see him soon. <laughs> like father, like son, I Vito. Vito, you're making the biggest mistake of your life. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right. Follow me, guys. Turn the resilience. Vito can handle himself. So extra firepower ain't gonna hurt. Let's go, Vito. We got your back. Gonna die here, Fido! Just like your father! <laughs> Spent my whole life trying not to make the same mistakes my old man did. Then I find out I'm following in his footsteps. It was good to finally know the truth, though. And Derek's death also helped me resolve another problem.
Whoa. Looks like I just found Derek's retirement funds. Hey, Vito. We can take things from here. What about the cops? Yeah, they might be a problem. But anyone who saw it will swear we did it in self-defense. You were never here. All right. Good luck, then. Jesus, Mary. You can't bring a gun in here. Oh, Go God. on, get out. Oh, please, gosh, don't do it. Please, please. please. We got a homicide here. Suspect is armed. Roger that. Suspect is about 60 plus. Every size. Whoa. Looks like I just found Derek's retirement funds. Cops. I'm a 
put a hurt on you. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. Please, sir. We I'd take that gun outside if I were you. Oh, God! Oh, shoot! Oh, God! Pally, what's going on? Get the hell out of here. I ain't scared of you. Have a Caucasian male carrying a large firearm. Copy that. Thank you. 